Hey, it's Derry here. And today I want to talk to you about the entrepreneurial trap. It's the bit where actually we think we're ultimately successful and yet there's a trap at the end of it. And I want to use the example of Steve Jobs to illustrate this because I think most people out there know Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs, Steve Jobs. I keep on getting corrected on which one. I think it's Jobs. So Steve Jobs. Now you all know him. That's the guy behind Apple. And if you haven't worked out what Apple is, then it's a big computer company, right? So Steve Jobs is an icon in, in the entrepreneurial world. A uh, couple of new movies out on him at the moment, by the way, and they're really good. But the second, the one, the, the guy with Michael Fassbender in it, that's the one movie which is awesome and watch it because it actually shows us that what we see as entrepreneurs as the ultimate pinnacle of success can actually destroy us personally. Um, now I talk about the five elements of purpose and this is where we highlight it and this is what illustrates it. So the five elements of purpose, passion, service and value, market opportunity, financial purpose, and lifestyle. So here's the kicker. If you get the top four right and you're absolutely smashing it, you might wreck your lifestyle and go out with regret, which is exactly what happened to him. So what do I mean by that? Let's go through them one by one very quickly. So did he have a passion for what he did? Absolutely, obsession, in fact. And this is where some of the greatest entrepreneurs fit in. We, you know, we have more than a passion. It becomes an obsession for us. Uh, and we're adding massive service and value to the world. So if, you, if you're adding service and value to the world with an obsession, that's two powerful forces before we begin. With a market opportunity, he created a market. That's a complex strategy, all right? It's a market opportunity to do massive good and change the world. And the financial strategy behind it, so it's not a hobby. We're going to come back to this in a different case study later on, all right? Um, so if you're there and the, and the fiscal... Uh, purposes behind it and I think Apple's done all right financially they've had their ups and downs like any business do but financially it was solid there was a good strong financial model behind it he was smashing it he's an icon in the entrepreneurial world and yet he's not here anymore and he went out with a shitload of regret now, I'm not saying that hypothetically I would never go and slam one of the top icons in entrepreneurship but what we're going to do is we're, somehow below we're going to get you the link to what his deathbed quote was this is there's some controversy around this and what he actually said. But this is what they allegedly, what he said on his deathbed, what his regrets were in life. And a big part of it was around his relationship with his daughter. Um, and the movie really highlights that of how a man who's so amazing and so hygonic in the entrepreneurial world actually wrecked his relationships along the way and died with a, a load of regret as a result of it. That's what we're talking about with strategy on a page. We have to get back to this point of purpose and the five elements of purpose. And I don't do that as a fluffy exercise, right? That's not about, oh, it's like, it, let's do purpose because it's, you know, it's nice and it's soft. It's not, it's a hard science because if one of these things are missing, you're probably building the wrong business and you're probably setting up a shitload of regret alongside it. And equally, if any one of those are missing, it's actually a strategic issue in your business. Depending on which one's missing, which will show us directly where you're off on strategy. So think about that. What's happening with your lifestyle? You know, which elements of those five things are you off right now? And if it's lifestyle, come on, do something about it. And by the way, if lifestyle's off, it's a talent issue. Now, when it comes to Steve Jobs, how on earth does that relate to Steve Jobs? The guy was obsessive. You know, he had amazing talent in all areas, but he was obsessive and he never let go. Um, and there's a huge part of the psychology around that in the movie if you watch it. So the question is, are you able to let go? Do you have the right talent around you? Does your business run itself without you? Could it? If not, you've got a talent issue. and You might just destroy yourself in the process of building the very thing which should be your freedom vehicle. So go to work. If lifestyles are issue, let's fix it. It's not going to magically alter. The magic fairy dust isn't coming. Build the right business. Build a business of purpose. Mm -hmm.